The control room of the human spaceship, the Resolute buzzed with tension as the crew detected an approaching alien vessel. Captain Alex, a seasoned leader with steely resolve, kept his voice steady as he issued orders. Everyone, stay calm. We've trained for this. Lieutenant Kim, open a channel to the alien ship. Lieutenant Kim, quick and efficient, tapped a few buttons. Channel open, Captain. We're being hailed. A voice crackled through the speakers, authoritative and menacing. Humans, surrender immediately. Your species is inferior. Resistance is futile. Captain Alex responded without hesitation. This is Captain Alex of the Resolute. We do not surrender. State your intentions. The alien commander's reply was swift and condescending. We intend to conquer your planet. Your technology and defenses are primitive. Engineer Sam, standing nearby, leaned in and whispered, Captain, their ship has a lot of firepower. We might be outmatched. Alex's eyes narrowed. We may be outmatched, but we're not outwitted. Commander, we invite you to board our ship for a discussion. Let's talk face to face. There was a brief pause, then the alien commander's voice, tinged with surprise, returned. Very well, humans, prepare for our arrival. As the transmission ended, Lieutenant Kim looked concerned. Captain, are you sure about this? Alex nodded confidently. Trust me, we need to know what we're dealing with. Kim relayed the instructions. Channel closed, Captain. They're sending a shuttle over. First Officer Maria, always perceptive, voiced her concerns. What do you think their real intentions are, Captain? They're testing us, Maria. They want to see if we're as weak as they think. We need to show them we're not, Alex replied. Engineer Sam, ever practical, asked, Should we prepare any countermeasures, Captain? Yes, but discreetly. I want our weapons ready, but let's not provoke them just yet, Alex instructed. The crew set to work, preparing the meeting room for the alien delegation. The room was simple but functional, centered around a large table that would serve as neutral ground for the impending discussion. Alex turned to his team. Maria, I want you by my side during the meeting. Sam, stay on standby in engineering. Kim, monitor their movements closely. Understood, Captain. Maria said, standing tall beside him. Time seemed to stretch as they waited. Finally, the alien shuttle docked, and the airlock hissed open. The crew stood ready, eyes fixed on the entrance as the alien delegation emerged. Leading them was the alien commander, a tall figure with an air of authority and superiority. The commander's eyes scanned the room, taking in the human crew with a mixture of curiosity and disdain. I am Zarkin, leader of the Xenthry. You are brave, humans, but bravery will not save you. Captain Alex met Zarkin's gaze evenly. We believe in talking before fighting, Zarkin. Why do you want to conquer us? Zarkin's expression remained stern. Your resources are valuable, and your species is weak. It is logical for us to take what we need. First Officer Maria interjected, her voice firm. Weak? That's where you're wrong. We faced countless challenges and survived. The alien commander raised an eyebrow. Your weapons are no match for ours. What can you possibly do? Alex leaned forward slightly, his tone resolute. It's not just about weapons. It's about resilience. Humanity has a way of turning the tide when things seem hopeless. Engineer Sam still monitoring from engineering, added over the comes, you underestimate our creativity and determination. Zarkin seemed intrigued, if only slightly. Interesting. We shall see if your actions match your words. Prepare for a demonstration of our power. With that, the alien delegation turned and left, returning to their shuttle. The crew of the Resolute watched them go, a mixture of relief and anticipation filling the room. As the shuttle undocked and the alien ship began to maneuver, Lieutenant Kim reported, Captain, they're powering up their main weapon. Alex's voice was calm but urgent. All hands, brace for impact. Sam, 
activate the energy shield. Sam's response was immediate. Shield is up, but it won't hold for long. Over the intercom, Zarkin's voice echoed ominously. This is your final chance, humans. Surrender or be destroyed. Captain Alex's eyes hardened. We do not surrender. Fire the EMP now. Maria, quick on the controls, executed the command. EMP fired. Direct hit on their ship. There was a moment of silence, then Zarkin's voice, now tinged with disbelief, crackled through. What have you done? Our systems are failing. Alex allowed a small, satisfied smile. That's human ingenuity for you. We may be outgunned, but we're never outsmarted. Leave now, and we won't pursue you. After a brief pause, Zarkin conceded. You, you have earned our respect, humans. We will withdraw, but this is not over. Alex's voice remained steady. We'll be ready, Zarkin. Humanity always is. As the alien ship retreated, the crew of the Resolute celebrated their victory. The immediate threat was over, but the war was just beginning. And humanity, against all odds, had shown it was more than ready to face whatever came next. After the retreat of the alien ship, the Resolute resumed its course, maintaining a cautious distance from any potential threats. The crew knew they had only won a battle, not the war. Captain Alex called a meeting to discuss their next steps. In the spacious meeting room, the senior officers gathered around the large central table. Captain Alex stood at the head, his expression serious but calm. Thank you all for your quick thinking earlier, Alex began. We've bought ourselves some time, but we need to prepare for the inevitable return of the Xenthry. They won't make the same mistakes twice. First Officer Maria leaned forward, her eyes sharp. Captain, we need to understand their technology better. Our EMP caught them off guard, but we need more tricks up our sleeves. Engineer Sam nodded in agreement. I can start working on upgrades to our shields and weapons. We need to make sure we're ready for anything they throw at us. Lieutenant Kim, who had been monitoring communications, spoke up. Captain, I suggest we try to gather intelligence on the There might be other species who have encountered them before and can offer insights. Alex considered this for a moment. That's a good idea, Kim. We need allies and information. Let's start reaching out to other human colonies and any friendly alien races we've made contact with. The discussion continued, with each officer contributing ideas and strategies. The crew's determination was palpable. They knew the odds were against them, but they were committed to defending their home and their species. As the meeting adjourned, Alex pulled Maria aside. Maria, I want you to lead a small team to scout the nearby systems. We need to find potential allies and gather any information we can on the Xenthry. Maria nodded. I'll get a team together and leave immediately, Captain. Later that day, Maria and her team, consisting of a few skilled officers, departed in a smaller scout ship. Their mission was crucial, and they knew it. The vastness of space loomed before them, filled with both danger and opportunity. Back on the Resolute, Sam and his engineering team worked tirelessly on upgrading the ship's systems. The energy shield was reinforced, and new, more powerful weapons were installed. Sam was in his element, his mind racing with ideas to outsmart the technologically superior Xenthry. In the communications room, Kim was busy sending out encrypted messages to various human colonies and known friendly alien races. It was a delicate task requiring both diplomacy and caution. Every bit of information could be crucial in the coming conflict. Meanwhile, Alex spent his time in strategy sessions with the other senior officers, planning potential scenarios and responses. He knew they couldn't afford to be reactive. They needed to be proactive and anticipate the Xanthri's moves. A few days later, Maria's scout ship returned. The crew gathered eagerly in the control room as she shared her findings. Captain, we made contact with a group of humans on a distant colony. They've encountered the Xanthri before and were able to provide some valuable information. 
Maria reported. Lux's interest was piqued. What did they tell you? The Xenfri are indeed technologically advanced, but they have weaknesses. Their reliance on technology makes them vulnerable to tactical ingenuity. Like our EMP attack, they also have a rigid command structure, which we might be able to exploit, Maria explained. Lieutenant Kim added, I've received responses from a few alien races as well. Some are willing to share intelligence, and a couple might even offer support if the Xenfri become a common threat. Alex nodded, his mind racing with possibilities. Good work, everyone. This information is invaluable. We need to build on it and prepare for the next encounter. Sam, continue with the upgrades. Kim, maintain contact with our potential allies. Maria, work on devising strategies to exploit the Xenfri's weaknesses. The crew set to work with renewed vigor. They knew they were still the underdogs, but they also knew that humanity had always thrived under pressure. Their resourcefulness, determination, and unity would be their greatest strengths in the face of the alien threat. A week later, as the Resolute patrolled a remote sector, they received an urgent transmission from one of the human colonies Maria had visited. The colony was under attack by the Xenfri, and they were requesting immediate assistance. Captain Alex wasted no time, set a course for the colony. Maximum speed. Prepare all weapons and shields. This is what we've been preparing for. As the ship sped towards the embattled colony, the crew braced themselves for the fight ahead. The Xenfri were formidable but the humans were ready to defend their own. On arrival, they saw the Xenfri ships bombarding the colony's defenses. The sight was grim, but it also fueled the crew's resolve. Captain Alex gave the order, and the Resolute charged into battle. Fire at will. Alex commanded, his voice steady despite the chaos unfolding around them. The upgraded weapon systems roared to life, striking the Xenfri ships with precision and power. The energy shield held strong against the retaliatory fire, thanks to Sam's enhancements. The crew worked seamlessly, their training and preparation evident in their coordinated actions. Maria, leading a tactical strike team, directed targeted attacks on key points of the Xenfri vessels. Aim for their command centers, disrupt their chain of command. Her strategy paid off as several Xenfri ships faltered their attacks becoming disorganized. The rigid command structure of the Xenfri was indeed a vulnerability, and the humans exploited it to their advantage. Lieutenant Kim, monitoring communications, relayed messages from the colony. Captain, the colony's defenses are stabilizing. They're holding their ground. Good. Alex replied, let's keep the pressure on the Xenfri. We need to drive them away from the colony. The battle raged on, but the tide was turning in favor of the humans. The combined firepower of the Resolute and the colony's defenses proved too much for the Xenfri. One by one, the alien ships began to retreat, their forces in disarray. As the last Xenfri vessel flood, a cheer erupted from the crew of the Resolute. They had defended the colony and proven their strength against the alien threat. Captain Alex addressed his crew his voice filled with pride. Well done, everyone. We've shown the ten three that humanity will not be conquered easily. This is just the beginning, but we've taken a crucial first step. Maria, still catching her breath from the intense battle, added, and we've learned valuable lessons. We need to keep improving, keep adapting. The Xen3 will come back stronger. Alex nodded. Agreed. We can't let our guard down. But today, we've shown that we can stand up to them. Let's regroup, repair, and prepare for the next challenge. As the crew set about their tasks, there was a palpable sense of unity and determination. They knew the road ahead would be long and difficult, but they also knew that together, they could face any threat. Back in the control room, Alex and Maria reviewed the battle data. They analyzed the Tenfree's tactics, looking for patterns and weaknesses they could exploit in future encounters. We need to keep refining our strategies, Alex said, 
Every battle gives us more information. The more we know, the better we can prepare. Maria agreed. And we need to strengthen our alliances. The more support we have, the better our chances. As they worked late into the night, the lights of the Resolute shining brightly in the vast darkness of space, the crew knew they were part of something bigger. They were defending not just their ship, but the future of humanity. The victory against the Tenthry was a significant milestone, but it was clear that this was just the beginning of a long and arduous journey. The crew of the Resolute was ready to face whatever came next, united in their mission and their resolve. With the colony safe for now, Alex sent a message of solidarity to all the human colonies and their newfound allies. Today, we fought back and won. Tomorrow, we will be even stronger. Together, we will prevail. As the message spread across the stars, it ignited a spark of hope and determination in all who heard it. Humanity was no longer just surviving, it was fighting back. And in the face of the alien siege, that made all the difference. Asterisk asterisk chapter 3 The Human Resolve asterisk asterisk After their triumphant defense of the colony, the Resolute returned to its patrol routes, ever vigilant. Captain Alex and his crew knew that the Xanthry would not give up easily. They needed to stay one step ahead, and for that, they needed more than just superior tactics. They needed unity and resolve. In the control room, Captain Alex convened another meeting with his senior officers. This time, the mood was more somber but no less determined. They had won a battle, but the war was far from over. Thank you all for your hard work, Alex began, looking at each of his officers in turn. We've shown the Xenthry that we won't go down without a fight. Now we need to build on this momentum and prepare for their inevitable return. First Officer Maria leaned forward, her expression serious. Captain, we need to keep strengthening our defenses. The upgrades helped, but we need more. Our shields need to be impenetrable, and our weapons more powerful. Engineer Sam, who had been instrumental in the last battle, nodded in agreement. I've already started on further enhancements. We can integrate some of the alien technology we've encountered into our systems. It will give us an edge. Lieutenant Kim, ever the strategist, added, We also need to improve our intelligence network. The more we know about the Xenthry's movements and plans, the better we can prepare. Alex agreed. Kim, keep working on those connections. Maria, coordinate with Sam on the upgrades. We need to be ready for anything. As the meeting concluded, the crew dispersed to their respective tasks each one driven by a sense of duty and purpose. The ship buzzed with activity as engineers, technicians, and strategists worked side by side, their common goal uniting them. Meanwhile, Captain Alex spent his time reviewing the latest reports and planning their next move. He knew that they couldn't just defend. They needed to take the fight to the Xenthry, but for that, they needed allies. One evening, as Alex was deep in thought in his quarters, the chime indicated an incoming message. It was from one of the friendly alien races they had contacted earlier. Alex quickly activated the screen and the image of an alien leader, dignified figure with a wise expression, appeared. Captain Alex, I am Ambassador Vorik of the Tarlin. We received your message and were impressed by your resilience against the Xenthry. We wish to offer our assistance. Alex felt a surge of hope. Ambassador Vorik, your support would be invaluable. The Xenthry are a formidable foe, and we need all the help we can get. Vorik nodded. We have also suffered at the hands of the Xenthry. Our people have developed technologies that might aid you in your fight. We propose an alliance, our resources and knowledge in exchange for mutual defense. Alex smiled. It's a deal, Ambassador. Together, we can stand against the Genthry and protect our people. The Tarlin ambassador's message was a turning point. With their new allies, the Resolute now had access to advanced technologies and resources that would significantly bolster their defenses and offensive capabilities. In the following weeks, 
The crew worked tirelessly to integrate the Tarlin technology into their systems. Energy shields were reinforced with Tarlin energy matrices, and their weapons were upgraded with advanced targeting systems and more powerful projectiles. The ship was transformed into a formidable fortress. Maria led the integration efforts, coordinating with both human and Tarlin engineers. Her leadership and technical expertise ensured that the upgrades were implemented smoothly and efficiently. Lieutenant Kim, on the other hand, focused on strengthening their intelligence network. She established secure communication lines with the Tarlin and other friendly races, creating a web of information that allowed them to track Zenfri movements and anticipate their attacks. One day, as the crew was in the midst of their preparations, they received a distress signal from another human colony. The Xenfri were attacking again, this time with even greater force. Captain Alex immediately ordered the Resolute to set a course for the embattled colony. All hands, prepare for battle. This is it. We've made our preparations. Now it's time to put them to the test. As they approached the colony, the scene was grim. The Xenthry ships were bombarding the colony's defenses, and explosions lit up the sky. But this time, the Resolute was ready. Activate the new shields. Alex commanded, prepare to engage the enemy. The upgraded energy shields flared to life, absorbing the incoming fire from the Xenthry ships. The crew worked with precision, their movements coordinated and efficient. Fire at will, Alex ordered, and the ship's upgraded weapons roared to life, striking the Xenthry ships with deadly accuracy. Maria, directing the tactical operations, focused on exploiting the weaknesses they had learned from their intelligence reports, target their command centers and power cores, disrupt their coordination. The Tarlin technology proved its worth as the Xenfri ships began to falter under the relentless human and Tarlin assault. The combined firepower was overwhelming, and the Xenfri fleet started to retreat. But the battle was not over yet. Massive Xenthry battleship, far larger than anything they had encountered before, appeared on the horizon. Its sheer size and firepower dwarfed anything the Resolute had faced. Captain, that ship is too powerful. We can't take it on directly, Sam warned. Alex's mind raced. We need to outsmart them. Maria, can we use the colony's defense grid to our advantage? Maria quickly analyzed the situation. If we can lure the battleship into range of the colony's main defense cannons, we might stand a chance. Let's do it. Alex decided. Kim, open a channel to the colony's defense command. The communication line crackled to life, and the colony's defense commander appeared on the screen. This is Captain Alex of the Resolute. We need your help to take down the Sentry battleship. Can you activate your main defense cannons? The commander nodded. We can, but we need to draw the battleship into range. What do you have in mind? Alex outlined the plan quickly. We'll engage the battleship and lure it towards your defense grid. Once it's in range, hit it with everything you've got. With the plan in motion, the Resolute moved to intercept the Xenthry battleship. The crew braced themselves as the massive vessel loomed closer. Engage the enemy. Keep them focused on us. Alex ordered. The ship shuddered under the onslaught of the Xenthry's powerful weapons, but the new shields held strong. The crew maintained their composure, executing their roles with precision. Steady, steady. Alex muttered, watching the distance to the colony's defense grid decrease. Now, full reverse thrusters, get out of the way. As the Resolute pulled back, the Xenthry battleship followed, oblivious to the trap. The colony's main defense cannons powered up, their massive barrels aiming at the approaching enemy. Fire! Alex commanded, and the colony's cannons unleashed a devastating barrage. The Xenthry battleship was caught off guard, its shields and armor unable to withstand the concentrated firepower. Explosions rippled across its surface, and it began to break apart. We did it! Maria exclaimed as the battleship disintegrated. The remaining Xenthry ships, seeing their flagship destroyed, 
retreated into Zere. The humans and their allies had won another crucial battle. As the crew of the Resolute celebrated their victory, Alex addressed them with pride. Today, we showed the Xenthry that humanity is not to be underestimated. We've defended our colonies and strengthened our alliances. But this is just the beginning. We must remain vigilant and continue to build on our strengths. Maria nodded, her expression determined. We'll keep improving, keep adapting. The Xenthry will come back, but we'll be ready. The crew set to work repairing the ship and reinforcing their defenses. They knew that the war was far from over, but they also knew that they had the resolve and ingenuity to face whatever came next. In the days that followed, the Resolute continued its patrols, maintaining contact with their allies and gathering intelligence on the Xenthry's movements. The Tarlin provided additional resources and support, strengthening the Alliance. One day, as they were patrolling a distant sector, they received a message from Ambassador Vorek. Captain Alex, we have detected a significant Xenthry fleet mobilizing. It appears they are preparing for a major offensive. Alex's expression hardened. Thank you, Ambassador. We'll be ready. The crew intensified their preparations, knowing that the next battle would be even more challenging. They upgraded their systems further trained rigorously, and developed new tactics to counter the Xenthry's strategies. As the day of the offensive approached, the crew of the Resolute stood ready, their resolve unshaken. They knew that they were not just fighting for their own survival, but for the survival of all humanity and their allies. Captain Alex addressed his crew one final time before the battle. We face a formidable enemy, but we are stronger together. We've proven that we can stand against the Xenthry, and today, we'll prove it again. Let's show them what humanity is capable of. With that, the Resolute and its allies moved to intercept the Xenthry fleet. The battle that followed was fierce and brutal, but the humans and their allies fought with everything they had. In the end, it was their unity, ingenuity, and unwavering resolve that carried the day. The Xenthry fleet was defeated, and the threat to their colonies was diminished. As the dust settled, and the victorious fleet regrouped, Captain Alex knew that the fight was far from over. But he also knew that they had taken a crucial step towards securing a future for humanity and their allies. With the crew of the Resolute standing strong, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead, the story of their defiance and resilience continued. And in the vast expanse of space, a new hope began to shine. A hope that, united and determined, they could overcome any adversary.